tax, tax, tax or import duty or import tax. Welcome back guys to a brand new video and in this video I'm going to talk with you about tax, import tax or import duty or import tariff that you pay when you import anything from any foreign country to your country. This is one of the most requested video that you guys are demanding for a long time and I am just procrastinating. Sorry for that guys. I have already uploaded few videos about how you guys can import from USA to your country India. The video link is on the description below. You can check it from on the description or you can click on i button if you want to watch all of this video. But there I didn't explain about tax because tax is a little bit complicated than I thought. Also, it's country specific. That's the reason I haven't explained anything about tax. But today finally I decided I will make a dedicated video on tax and try to explain it guys to you so that you can a little bit understand about tax. Before starting the video, a quick disclaimer, I am not any kind of tax guru or import export expert. The information that I gathered importing from USA and any other country for last 3-4 years. And today in this video, I will share that with you guys. So guys, let's get started. A few weeks ago, an US based Amazon seller contacted me and he wants me to review some of his product but he was not able to ship it to India. Uh, so I told him just send it to usgobuy.com warehouse address and I will reship this item to my address. The package is delivered today. And guys, here is the package that is delivered from USA. So today in this video guys, I'm going to unbox it guys and find out what's inside and try to explain you guys about tax. Total tax I paid as you see guys is uh, 4098 rupees here written so uh, I'm going to explain you guys everything you will understand it so inside this box we have four items a Wi-Fi router price $25 mini Wi-Fi projector price $75 an outdoor Wi-Fi antenna $9.6 and Wi-Fi router uh, another Wi-Fi router is $17 and total is $126.60 and total tax I paid for this item is as you see this is CD means Custom duty 3998 rupees and processing fee is 100 rupees 12 4098 rupees that I paid for um, 128 dollar which is around 19,000 rupees so for 10,000 rupees product I paid 4,000 so the tax is around you can say 40% I use USPS to import this package from USA to India USPS means United States Postal Service similar as Indian Post so that's the reason the processing fees is only 100 rupees if I use if I chose DSL, FedEx, Aramax like private shipping company the processing fee is around 600 rupees including 18% GST now guys let's open the box The packaging looks quite good. So here is a router. Here is a projector. Okay, all of this package is unboxed. Uh, so probably the custom officer opened it. You see, this is the seal is broken. Uh, this package is opened. This one is not opened and here is another router here on this box we have a projector that price in india around 7000 to 10000 rupees it's around 150 dollar this one is around 30 dollar this one is around 45 dollar and this one is around 100 dollar so in total it's around 300 dollar product and the declared value i declared it all of this item is around 125 dollar so that's the reason I paid little bit less tax. This is a mini projector from DB Power and I checked their website. The website, the price is $149.99. If you convert it using today's transaction rate, it will cost you in India is 11,600 rupees. But uh, if you want to buy in India, this same thing cost you 23,000 rupees. I was checking on Amazon India, it's 23,000. So it's two times price. You need to pay two times if you want to buy it from India. Now the question is, um, if you want to buy this same item from USA, will it profitable for you? Um, I don't think so guys, because uh, if you have to pay the shipping charges, 
you have to pay its price then over that whenever you want to pay on us or any other uh, foreign countries you need to pay five percent extra cis tax then when you come to india you need to pay another 40 to 50 percent tax on this item moreover it's around same you will you will at the end you will pay around 20 thousand or more if you import it from usa because i get this item for free that's the reason <laughs> i imported it but uh, if somebody tell me to buy it from usa i'm not going to do that i often get emails from you guys about declaring the value of the item how you can declare the value of the item so you guys can reduce some tax so this item value is 149 150 dollar but i declare it 50 percent of its value it's 75 dollar uh, if you go to aliexpress or alibaba.com same thing selling is around 80 dollar and chinese seller exporting this item from china to us and selling it higher price it's around 150 dollar they're selling it but in china it's around 80 dollar or 70 dollar or less than that so that's the reason i generally go to aliexpress or alibaba.com and see what kind of price this is item is selling according to that i declared the price of the item i also requested usgobuy.com to remove any original invoice from the package during cost relation also they did not provide any kind of custom invoice so if you need any kind of custom invoice for your packages you can choose our today's sponsor sflworldwide.com the shipping service they provide custom invoice as you requested also the shipping charges of sflworldwide.com is quite low compared to other shipping service provider the shipping charges on usgobuy.com is quite expensive to import a 14 pound package is cost me around 185 dollar using usps and dhl and fedex or more expensive around 250 dollar uh, compared to this is SFL all provide maritime shipping and the shipping charges is quite low only two dollar per pound so if i chose SFL all to import my package i can definitely save more than hundred dollar for this uh, shipment the best thing about sflallright.com is their service is not just limited in usa technically you can import from any country using SFL all right service they also provide door-to-door -door real return service internationally as well as domestically. So if you are planning moving abroad or a different domestic location, then SFL Allright can definitely help you with door-to-door -door relocation with all of your belongings. So if you like to use their service, you need to go www.sflallright.com. This is their website. I will also give the link in the description below. So if you want to go to their website, there you can select your country. Uh, from which you want to import and select your own country then you can start your own code also this is their phone number so if you want to call them you can call on this number or you can request them to call you back so you can click on this button to get a call back request and my next video i'm going to share guys my complete experience uh, about sflallright.com how their services what is their uh, shipping charges it is cheap or high i'm going to share my experience on that next video so stay tuned for the next video It has been near about 3-4 years since I started importing from foreign countries and I always little bit undervalued the items so that I can save little bit of tax. I don't recommend you guys to do that because if you caught doing this, customs can fine you or you can get into some kind of legal issue. That's the reason I'm telling you not to do that. Also, if your product get lost or damaged during transit, you can claim the insurance but you will get only the declared value. So if you declare a $100 item to a $20, you will get only $20 at compensation. But the chances are very low, but bad thing does happen. In India, there is no proper import tax rule and the tax amount is depend on the custom officer. If custom officer decide to tax you more, he will tax you more and if custom officer decide to tax you less, he can do that too. Before COVID, me and my friend ordered same was from AliExpress and I paid 2000 rupees tax for this OS and he paid zero. He get it absolutely free. So now we know uh, there is no proper rule uh, to calculate tax. The way tax calculated on imported goods is using ACE SN code. Harmonized 
system of nomenclature code. It's mandatory on both B2B and B2C invoices on supplies of goods and services. It was introduced in 1988 by World Custom Organization WCO. This is a ICN code for a handkerchief made from a man-made fiber. Uh, this first two digit is for the chapter. Next second digit is for its heading and next two digit is for subheading. This is a Wi-Fi router that I imported from USA. The price of the router is $78 and let's find out this Wi-Fi router ASSN code. So what you can do, you can just go to Google and ASSN code for Wi-Fi router and it will uh, show you the ASSN code for the router. So let's see what's inside the chapter chapter 85. So you can see chapter 85 contains electronic and mechanical equipment and parts. Uh, therefore sound recorder reproducer television image sound recorder reproducer and parts not now and parts accessories of such articles so inside this if i go to 85 on 7 so 85 on 7 in telephone set include telephone or other cellular network and wireless network so inside this we can find our wi-fi device so inside this will go to 69 85 on 969 so here you guys can see this is the Wi-Fi router. So that's the way we can calculate our ASSN code and it is very uh, important to uh, calculate the ASSN code because we need uh, this code to calculate the custom duty. Now let's talk about how we can calculate the custom duty. So total custom duty consists of basic custom duty which is called BCD then GST plus other charges like SES and other uh, charges plus processing fee. For BCD calculation, you must need to know the ASSN code which we explained previously. So let's assume we need to import a Wi-Fi router. The price is around 10,000 rupees. Then the tax we need to pay for this 10,000 rupees router. The way calculate is this. BCD is 10% for a Wi-Fi router. And over that we need to pay GST. GST is 18% but sometimes customer officer charge you 28% GST. And if your parcel consists of multiple items then uh, they will charge you around 28%. They will charge you maximum <laughs> they can charge. So they will put a GST around 28%. Other charges is 1% and processing fee for Indian ports is 100 rupees. But if you choose DSL, FedEx, Aramax, any other uh, private company then they will charge you uh, 500 rupees plus 18% GST which is 96 total 596 rupees so total tax for uh, this wi-fi router will, will be this this is the formula i just made i just put uh, your own um, value here and you can calculate it so and for this 10,000 rupees wi-fi router the basic custom duty is 10 percent which is thousand rupees over that you need to pay gst which is 18 percent so gst will be the product price which is 10,000 rupees plus basic custom duty is thousand rupees so yeah, on eleven thousand rupees you need to pay eighteen percent so it's uh, one thousand nine hundred eighty rupees you need to pay the tax plus uh, hundred rupees is the processing fee is total three thousand eighty rupees inside the box i don't find any kind of custom clearance document or invoice document there is none of this inside the box because i imported using usps and then the custom clearance done by indian post so they only provide me this. This is the tax invoice, handwritten tax invoice. But if you import using DSL, FedEx, or any other private courier company, you will get this kind of document. So this is Express Cargo Clearance document, and here we have the tax invoice. So I declared this value is thirty-three point four dollar. I also make a video about it. So if you guys want to watch this video, I'll leave a link of the video in the description below. So it's thirty-four dollar. Um, I think total value was around um, ninety hundred dollar and. I under declared value around $33.4 and the tax I paid is so it's around 2535 rupees it's 34.3 uh, and dollar exchange it at that day is 74.5 dollars uh, and multiply it you will get so you will get 2516 rupees mm -hmm. so this is the total accessible value what that you paid the tax so this is the tax so on BCD basic uh, custom duty is 35% so if you calculate 35% uh, of 2516 rupees, then this 35% is uh, 880 rupees. Then you pay IGST is 28%. IGST calculated BCD plus the accessible value 
it's 28 percent this is 975 rupees plus plus duty adjustment charges which is 500 plus 90 rupees IGST is 596 rupees to total 2535 rupees tax for a package that access is 2560 rupees so total tax I paid more than 100 percent so if I don't under declare this item I need to pay probably five six thousand rupees so that's a quite expensive so it's I think it's too much expensive to import from USA guys if you are a business individual you are running any kind of business in India and for running this business you need to import some kind of item from US or any other country then you can you can deduct this GST that IGST which is 28% uh, here you can get it as a tax credit so if you want to reduce your import tax apply for a GST number so guys that's it for today hope i able to give you some information about tax and you guys like it and if you guys like it make sure to smack a big thumbs up on this video and if you guys have any question any session let me know in the comment section will i definitely try to reply every one of your question that's being said my name is obijit Roy. i'm signing out and i will meet you on my next video till then bye bye and stay tuned